just came out today called Bermuda Lost Survival. Now it's been in early access um, for quite some time, uh, but they actually officially released it today, so I thought I'd get it. It was on sale. Uh, I didn't get it free, so it's not a paid promotion or anything. Uh, and we're gonna, I'm gonna, I played it for a little bit just to get kind of get used to the keys and stuff. And I'm gonna give you some things I found, some tips and stuff early on here. And we'll see how, how far we can get in one hour. So you start off, this is simil very similar to Raft in many ways. Um, I've never played Stranded Deep, but uh, I think it's like that as well. You're on a raft, you've got some basic supplies, and you got to survive. So uh, we start off with this crafting box, which lets you craft a bunch of stuff. Um, what wasn't clear to me right away, though, was if you hold... Okay, the key bindings. I, I recommend changing the key bindings for the... E, e key and the F key. So by default, um, the F key is what's used to grab everything, and the E key is actually used for opening menus, so like this. And because you use uh, this key bind so much, I changed it to E because it's easier to get to. Anyway, personal preference thing, not necessary, but um, but let's see. The thing that was not clear was that under here you could actually craft equipment. So even though you start with, start off with a crafting bench, um, which I kind of went to right away, I didn't realize I could craft things in here. And you kind of need these tools <clears throat> early on because uh, they're pretty useful. So uh, what else? Um, there's a little bit of a tutorial. It does help you a little bit. We're just going to jump in the water and get started here. And you don't have to worry about food like right away but pretty early on uh, I wouldn't recommend playing this game on 4k resolution yet because it's a little bit sluggish but I'm on 1080p and it's pretty good so the first thing you probably want to do is grab planks and stuff and rocks and let's see what we need for our first item here we need rope sticks and stone that little beep means we're at halfway mark for our oxygen, so I'm going to head back up here. Get a breather. Now there's no on-screen indicator for your breath, except for this little thing on your arm, which you can kind of see when you swim. And you can see all your vitals with holding tab. So thirst, hunger, brain fatigue, I'm guessing, and health. Yeah, it tells you that in the tutorial there. And if you hold shift, you can kind of sprint a little bit. So if you kind of pulse pulse uh, the shift key, you can swim a bit faster. Pretty useful. So we need rope. There is rope kind of back on that under underground wreck there. Now it might seem super annoying, the whole breathing thing so often going to the surface. But you, you get better. You get better at holding your breath through through practice. Okay, what else do we need here? We need, um... What did I say? Rope, sticks, and stone. Okay. Let's head back down. I don't think there's any rope on this wreck, but this one looks like there is. This hanging rope we can grab. Now, I, I played the game for about three hours. Um, there's some coral here too. And I thought it was auto-saving the whole time, but you have to manually save, so I'll just show you that in a second because I don't want you guys to go through the same thing I went through. Maybe it's just me being stupid, but uh, I'm so used to games auto-saving that I, maybe I'm a bit spoiled. There's more rope here. A little bit spoiled. Now there's some cannons and stuff here. You can break these down later on. And these boxes you can get into once you make some tools. So, need to get some sticks, which are around here somewhere. Any on? There's some rocks here too. We'll grab them. Stones. I should probably get to the surface though. Now, if you run out of breath, you start to take damage and then eventually you'll die. And you can go back to your last save.
So, sticks, where are you? There's sharks in this game, but they're pretty... They're pretty friendly, actually. Uh, if you kill fish later on and make kind of blood in the water, they will come and get you, but they're generally pretty peaceful. Now, there's some shipping containers here. I think one of these has some bonus items in them. Yeah, right here, salvage. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff there. Clay, torches. I don't think that thing reloads once you uh, once you get it once. Bunch of fish here. We'll need those later on. So the first thing you probably want to do is get your tools going. So you can start getting into boxes and stuff. But we really need sticks. Which are around here somewhere. Oh, there's some clay stuff over here, but we don't have tools yet. Back up we go. Reminds me a bit of some Nautica too. Not not as more realistic looking, less cartoony looking. Okay, where are these sticks? You'd think they'd be everywhere, but uh, there's also these boys and stuff. You can get metal off them later on, scrap metal. Oh, might as well grab this rope. Now these crates, they do respawn after time, over time. So that's useful. That that initial salvage I did though, the good stuff, I don't think that actually respawns. Okay, where the heck is there? are these sticks? They were so easy to find the first time I played through. Uh, planks everywhere. Later on you can turn planks into sticks, but initially you cannot. <laughs> So it does seem to, a little bit grindy in the beginning, but it gets better as you build things that let you build other things. There's a thing down there, like a landmine. I'm not going to go in there just yet. Okay, these are sticks. Here we go. Over by the light. And there's some barrels here beside me, and once we get tools... We can probably start getting into them. Okay, let's get a breath here. Okay, we're gonna make a stone knife. And for the stone axe, we need stones. Okay. Makes sense. And to equip, um,. Just kind of use the radial menu here. I think I can open this up. Wrong tool. No, I need an axe for that, I think. Wrong tool. So we'll try to find some... Uh, oh, hello. We'll stay away from you. I don't know I don't know if hammerhead sharks are... kill you or not. But I'm not going to get too close. To survive, you'll need to build a base. Yeah. Down we go. Um, there's some rocks up there, I see. Yeah, I don't think it's like super tuned for performance yet. It looks pretty good at 1080 though on my on my machine. Okay, can we make the axe? Stone axe, yep. We can make that. Now there's improved versions later on. And we'll need the spear for getting fish. Let's just see how our vitals are. We're getting thirsty. We'll need a source of water pretty early on. 
And there's little bits of plastic on the top of the rocks here. It also respawns. Now I think with an axe we'll be able to get our... Can we get into this barrel? We'll see. Let's see. Yeah. So this is how you get scrap. You can also get scrap out of... Um, out of crates, randomly. And much later on you can get a scuba gear set. I've never done that yet, but it shows that it's possible. Okay, let's get into some crates. If we can find some. On there. I'm going to go over to this rack here. There's one. So yeah, like I said, swapping the keybinds. E and F. Okay, we got bandages out of that. Now there's some... Some containers here, but they have like a little icon for dynamite. Don't know how to make that yet, so. Back up we go. Like I said, you get better at holding your breath, so it's not as tedious. Okay, can I use my hatchet on these? Upgrade tool, yeah. We gotta upgrade the tool first, okay. Now be super careful about spending your iron, which comes from those uh, cannons. I actually don't know how to make iron yet, but oh, what's that? Sounds like a sounds like a whale. Apparently, there's other reefs as well. I'm on a reef right now, and then kind of around the edges is. Just, uh, oh, it's getting close to dark, too. How are we doing? We're a little bit thirsty. Now, the, our initial food has a bit of water in it as well. So that's good. I wish you could keybind the tools, but I'm not sure you can. And will my hatchet work on this? Let's see. Yeah. Another source of scrap, and it does respawn. Those cannons, though, that give you iron, they do not respawn, so... Okay, back down. We'll just try to make as much of the daylight as we can. Sleep at night. Oh, trained lung, there we go. So we can hold our breath a little bit longer now. And these, those clay things give you terracotta, which you'll need. They do respawn as well. Okay. Arm strength, okay. And you do have a limited weight that you can carry, so you'll want to store away some of that. At your uh, at your raft, you can build uh, storage boxes later. How are we doing here? A little bit thirsty. Something's glowing down here. Let's get the rock first. <laughs> Ancient vase. Not sure what that's used for. So around the whole reef is like really super deep. And if you go too deep, uh, you die. So, or at least you start to die due to pressure. So, spacebar, by the way, is just uh, going lets you go straight up. That's a plane. I didn't really realize that was a plane before. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't see this at all. First time I played. Ooh. Scrap, okay. I'll take it. Yeah, I totally didn't notice this before. Maybe I didn't come over this way. Now, is that all that's in there? I think so. Cool. Oh, there's some back back fins as well. We'll grab those. It is getting nighttime, so we'll probably want to sleep. I don't know what happens if your brain level goes down to zero. Whether you stress out or hallucinate or what, but... We'll grab this little bit of plastic before we head up. And there's some cool stuff down there. There's like a door down there. Which we'll investigate later. I don't know how to get in it. Uh, if you leave comments for the video, please no spoilers. Because, uh... Don't wanna don't wanna be spoiled. I realize some of the stuff I'm saying I gives it a little bit spoily, so but I haven't played that much. Okay, we should probably think about sleeping here. Let's check our vitals here. Yeah, we're thirsty now. We get a little bit of moisture out of here. At least I'm gonna grab all the food and just have it on me. Same with the first aid in case I need it. So inventory. We got clay, we got plastic bits. Um, you can hot bar these things on quick access here, but I'm just gonna eat it this way. We got 30 water, 60 hunger, and some scrap metal back. And you'll notice some of these corals I picked up are starting to rot. And somewhere along the way I got some fish. Should have probably eaten those first because they're starting to rot. Now, water supply. Let's see here, what can we build? Lots of like... Lots of uh, building supplies here. Probably going to want this purifier early on. And let's do a wooden foundation here. Can we do it? No, we gotta put all the crafting goods in here. So what did it want? Planks and sticks. Don't have enough sticks yet. Plenty of planks. I might actually load everything in here just to reduce the weight a bit. Got some seeds, plastic, terracotta, stones. I will put the seeds in there too. Planks and some food. Okay. How are we doing? We're kind of thirsty. But I'm going to sleep through the night here. Maybe do eight hours. And how, how do we do there? For, oh, we're pretty thirsty. Okay. Sleep and save. Doesn't save the game. You need to go in here and click save. If you don't do that, you won't save and you'll be as annoyed as I was first time through. Okay, uh, what do we want to build next? The, probably the, we probably need some sticks and yeah, lots of sticks. Down we go. And we'll grab this plastic here while we can see it. Plastic scrap, not plastic. Not to be confused with plastic, which you do need as well later on, and I don't know how to make it yet. There's some sticks down here. But we 
we gotta surface soon here. Up we go. Still kind of nighttime. Sun's coming up though. Now I don't know, I can't recommend the game or not recommend it yet. Uh oh, uh oh, my heart is beaten. I think that's because we're thirsty, so we're gonna just eat some of those. Yeah, it's because we were thirsty. Gotta get that distiller up. And we also need to make a, a bottle, improvised bottle in order to get salt water to put in the distiller, which we're gonna make pretty soon here. No more sticks here. Guess we'll find another place here. crates while we're down here. You'll find you have lots of planks. That looked like a big chunk of wood. Now this wheel, I don't think you can break down. That sounded really close. <laughs> kind of creepy. Okay, let's go check out this door here. Ooh, spooky. There's some kind of Glowing corals here too. What are these? Luminous coral. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Did I take any damage? I don't think so. Here's this door thing. You can't open it. Uh, there's probably some special thing you do later on to get that open. I'm just grabbing pretty much everything I see here. Should probably get to the surface though. I think an on-screen indicator for your vitals would be much simpler. I'm not really sure why they made it so you have to hold tab to, to see that stuff. A little bit annoying. Doesn't really add anything to the game. Now down here, see that giant landmine? Water mine. There's probably something we can do with that later, but not really sure. Okay, let's see if we can make a bit of a platform here. Okay. We got more sticks, planks. Wooden foundation, let's make that. Now one kind of weird usability thing is that you have to actually go sorting or storing and then 
You can drag it over like this, or you can double click. And then you gotta build a build your use your building tool to actually put it down. You have to click first to get it available. I think I'll just put it kind of right beside my raft here. Then you can rotate. It says E to like put it down, but that's not quite accurate. You have to actually left click. And I kind of don't want it there. So I'm going to move it. There's a way to move stuff as well. Oops. So I guess you just click, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll leave it there. Let's try again. Move. It's not working. Maybe I need to be on it to move it. No, maybe I can't move it. Maybe that one's just permanent. Okay. I'm gonna need water here pretty soon, so I wanna craft. Craft the purifier kinda right away. And what else do we need here? We need purifier and we need to make a bottle under here. Improvised bottle. Sticks and rope, okay. Take those, take those. There we go. Okay, we got the bottle. <laughs> We're gonna put, uh, put our thing down here with build. You have to click and then you can place and then you can rotate, but stick it on the edge. And this thing, you put salt water in and you get fresh water out. So we're gonna use our bottle. And you can fill it while you're on the ramp here. You just kind of click once, and then click again. And you'll get a, uh, <laughs> you'll get a few. It's kind of weird. You just keep clicking and you're gonna, you're gonna get bottles of salt water here. This kind of mechanic I don't really like. It's very tedious. And you're going to be doing this a lot. But maybe it gets better later with bigger containers. There is an upgraded bottle. So we'll get that in there. And I think we're kind of dying of thirst, so we'll eat another of our emergency rations here. I'm going to get a little bit more water just to keep that thing full. Just keep on clicking. Okay. Put the rest of the salt water in there. And we do have a bit of fish. How are we doing for food? Oh, we're full up on food now. Next thing we probably want to make is the workbench. Five sticks. Oh, we have just enough. Anything else we need? Uh, that's probably the next thing we want here. And then, don't forget to get it out of there. We'll place it, uh, I don't know, somewhere here. Not a whole lot of room on there. Okay, that unlocks a whole new world of stuff. We got an anvil, which makes stuff. And we got the barbecue bucket for cooking things, distillery, probably for making water. Smeltery and a pan, bellows, a whole bunch of stuff. Scrap, plastic, fermentation tank, a plant pot, 
Maybe we can plant some food. Those seeds we got. Wind chimes. I don't recommend the wind chimes. They're very loud. And you can't turn them off, so... I don't know if they have any other use other than noise. Yeah, they're not they're not soothing. Okay, that back down we go, I guess. Okay, let's go this way. These coral they do respawn. Red coral. But they do rot, so you might want to save getting them for another time. Now let's see if we can get these cannons now. I think I need an upgraded axe though. Upgrade tool, yeah. Um we're kinda underwater, so what do we what do we need for that? Stick, scrap, and rope. Yeah, I'm heading towards this this ship away from my boat. Where's my boat? Okay, that's my boat. This is the ship. I'm heading this way because there is some clay back here. Somewhere. It's around here somewhere. Along with some sharks. Oh, we got some supplies under there. So it's tempting to hold down shift to always sprint, but you just have to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Okay, let's find that clay. It's around here somewhere. Where's my ship? It's down here. Somewhere. Probably gone the wrong way already. But what I really need is to improve my axe and get those, uh... What is that? Unknown. So a little bit grindy in the start, like I said. Until you kind of unlock some stuff. And then I don't know if it gets it continues to be grindy because I didn't really play past then. A rum bottle? Never seen that before. Okay, that's cool. Hopefully it's full of rum. Okay, let's go improve our axe. And check on our distiller here. Okay, any water in there? Yeah, we got water and we got salt. Rum. Delicious. Okay, let's improve. What do we need again for that? Scrap, sticks, and rope. Okay. Oh, we need sticks. Take a little bit of this rope. And how are we doing for weight? 80. We're fine for that. Back on stick duty.
but I can't resist getting the plastic. Is this red coral as well? Yeah. Lots of planks down there. Oh, there's a different kind of coral here. Purple coral. Okay, now we better drink, actually. Real quick. Makes me thirsty in real life. Just here in the... Lots of stones over here. Not really what we need just yet, but we'll grab a few since it's here. Probably need them later. Just imagine the comments, they're going to be... He needed sticks, but he went for stones. Okay, here's a bunch of sticks. Beautiful. Or at least, some. Any others? A few more. Hidden away. Okay, we can probably just do our axe, upgrade our axe on the fly here. There we go. Imp improved axe. Uh, improved knife we can get pretty soon, too. another plane or the same plane? I think it's the same one. I think it respawned already. But it looks a bit different actually. It has two, two wings. Okay. Biplane. Maybe that's the same plane and I'm just like no, the other one was different. I think it was like a... Just one wing. I think we have to let those sticks respawn. So we'll be back later. Barrels down here. Pretty deep down here. Oh, what is this? Looks like Wilson. Mr. Willie. <laughs> Mr. Willie. It's like Wilson from Castaway. Risk getting this last barrel here. Up we go. Okay, I want to check out that there was a raft down here by Mr. Willie. Actually, we gotta grab these sticks. Sticks and stones. I think we can use our axe on these, yeah, planks of the boat. Ok, 
Okay, let's get back. Make sure our distiller is nice and full. Home sweet home, our plank in the middle of nowhere. What else can we make here? Barbecue bucket, distillery. Scrap and stone. Anything else we need to make in here first? Before we get all our stuff out of here. Another foundation. How many sticks do we have? Seven. Which I think we can upgrade our knife. Let's do that first. And then iron for the iron knife. Terracotta for the improved bottle. Okay. I think I'm going to move everything out of here. If I can carry it all. No, I'm way overburdened. Okay, let's put that back and that back. I think I'm going to be storing my stuff in here instead. In the workbench. And I think that means we're thirsty. So let's see if we got any water here. Yeah, a little bit. How's our, how's our overall condition here? A little bit hungry. Quite a bit, quite thirsty. We might want to make two purifiers, maybe. It's kind of running pretty slowly. It probably needs sunlight, I'm gonna guess. Okay, I'm gonna chuck a bunch of stuff in here. Coral, stone, plank, salt, soil. Let's try to lighten our load here. The rum. Wilson! Okay. How are we doing here? Uh, this thing is running a bit slow, but we do have a bit more water here. And we'll eat the fish before it rots away. And it is night time, so we'll probably want to sleep. Do a good sleep till morning okay how are we doing now Pretty thirsty and don't forget to save folks don't forget to save click that save button otherwise you're gonna be you're gonna be crying if you die or leave the game. If you d exit the game and don't save, as you could imagine, um, doesn't save. Gonna keep half that rope on me. Okay, what to do next? Can we build another distiller? Just get things going in parallel there. Another purifier, uh, scrap, plastic waste, rope. Yeah, we can do that. Plastic waste, we'll get half of that. Plastic waste, uh, scrap. Where's all my scrap? Oh, it's on me. Okay, we're gonna put half of this in here. And we're going to make another distiller. Purifier. No, we're not. Plastic waste. Okay. Got to put it in. That might be overkill. But we'll do it.
Uh, and we kind of want to build another raft, but for now, we'll just keep going with our little, little bit of room here. Okay, good. Lots of water being made there. We'll probably just leave the salt in there. And get a bit more water collected here. There goes our heart rate again. What is it this time? Thirst. It just went away. That's weird. I didn't change anything. Maybe it's just warning me. I should probably hotbar that. Let's uh, quick access that on one. Okay, what are we doing now? Maybe one more. Okay. Get that salt water in there. Maybe eat a bit more. Keep everything topped up. We'll put this on quick access too. Okay, um, what should we do next? Do I have a spear yet? No, we don't have the spear yet. For the stone spear, we need stone, stick, and rope. I think we need some more sticks. Down we go. Should probably try to memorize where the sticks are. So I don't continue to look for them. Oh, that's a shark. <laughs> are not what we need, but we'll grab them. And we can get those cannons now, so since we're there. Now I think you can melt scrap scrap into uh, iron later. I'm not 100% sure. But these cannons are your only source of iron in, that I've found. And they don't respawn. So if you don't make everything you need to make more iron, you can kind of get stuck. And I think you need the, the bellows and the furnace to make iron. I've never made it yet, but I'm just guessing. What the heck? Um, I thought I was at the surface. I was not. <laughs> now there's a bug where you can't go down sometimes. And it's because you're sp it doesn't allow you to sprint and go down at the same time. Now there's another cannon around here somewhere I think. Yeah, here we go. And I don't know if this respawns or not. Now you can make terracotta later on out of clay. Okay, we're gonna go back up. Take a big deep breath. Okay, we wanna go... I wanna try to find that clay. While we look for sticks. I think it's back here. Somewhere. Okay, I don't think it's by the plane. I think 
it kind of looks like stones. That is not it. So yeah, it's kind of a chill, a chill, a little bit grindy game. Where's my clay? It's kind of on the outside here, where it gets deep. Wow, I'm out of breath already. I feel like I just went to the surface. We got a bunch of uh, bunch of stuff here. Supplies. Oh, oh. Maybe we can hot bar that. I don't know. Let's see. No. go back for the rest. Now we are going to spear some fish here. Stone spears. We need sticks and stone. Okay, we unlocked encumbrance. Can carry 30 more weight. Good to know. And trained lung too. Good, we can stay underwater a bit longer. It's always good. Okay, we got lots of sticks in there, but we'll have to go up first. Oh, here it is. Here we go. This is the clay. I think you can get a compass later and makes it a bit easier to find stuff. Oh, what's this? Another ancient vase. Okay, we got clay, we got sticks. Plastic. Just need some more sticks, I think. What's over here? Oh, barrels. Barrels galore. Probably good on scrap, but we'll, we'll go down and get them. There's some more sticks over here. Let's get the sticks first. That's what we really need. There's a bit of lag when you actually try to get the thing. And you can cut these with a knife, I think. These are kelp. Seaweed. And I think it's infinite. I'm not sure, though. We better get up here. Before we finish up, though, I want to... I want to try to spear a fish so you guys can see that. 
So I think with the distiller and spearing fish, you could probably much, pretty much survive. Not really thrive, but you can survive. I think this is a uh, castaway raft. Can we get these planks? Nope. Won't allow it. Okay, back we go. So yeah, I want to be able to get into those shipping containers, but that requires dynamite. I have no idea how to make it yet. There's some more crafting things we have to unlock. Okay, what do we got on us here? How many sticks do we have? 16. Anvil. Now the anvil takes 10 iron. I think we want to make this smeltery first, but that requires uh, more clay. Distillery for water. We kind of already have a water source. What we really need is our spear, which we can unlock now. I don't know what the improved spear does for you. More sticks and rope. I think we can make it. Yeah. Spear gun. Five iron. Now I don't want to waste my iron, like I said, until we can make until we can make iron. But like I said, we're gonna we're gonna go hunt some fish here, make sure we're all topped up with food and water. Better put some stuff away or we're gonna get overburdened here. That can go away. Okay, storage is full there. Okay, let's uh let's go spear some fish. Now these fish you can't spear the, the these tropical looking ones, at least as far as I can tell. We need the uh kind of the bigger school of fish. Which are around here somewhere. Usually by the sharks. Where are they? They're usually everywhere. Okay, those ones I don't think we can spear. Too small. I'm not about to attack. Oh, here we go. This is what we want. Get some air first before we start hunting. Okay. You kind of want to just get yourself in the middle of a school of fish. And then get your spear out. And hold it down. And then once you get one in... Yeah, there you go. You release it. Got to be careful with the blood, though. Because the uh, sharks are attracted to it. Okay, yeah. So it's a little bit tricky. You gotta kind of get get within them, and they kind of go away from you. Get it ready, and then hold it down. And then when they're close by, you release. And hope no sharks are nearby. Oh, like that. Uh, run. Here he is. Okay, he kind of went away. We'll get four fish. I like how it slows down when you do this. It's kind of cool. I don't know if it's a bug or a feature. Uh, here we go. I better get to the surface, though, really quick before I die. So we're going to go back try to cook these up. There's some glowing thing over there. What is that? I think it's just a boy. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looked kind of sparkly from a distance. So that's like basic survival covered, I think. But we need to be able to cook it, so... We want, um... Barbecue bucket. I think you can use the drying rack for fish as well, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll get this thing down. Uh, somewhere. Kind of running out of room here. Can we afford to make another plank? Another foundation? Let's see here. I think we need more sticks for that. Um, yeah, we need more sticks. Oh. Whoop. But I think if we put it down, we can move it later. So let's just put it right here. Which will kind of be blocking... Blocking ourselves, but... Uh, oh, we can tuck it in there. Okay, here we go. Get the fish on the barbie. And we need sticks. Uh, we have no sticks on us. Hmm. We'll use our three ma three remaining sticks. But later on, you can turn planks into sticks with a different workbench, so... There we go. We got food cooking. Probably don't need it yet. How are we doing for food? Let's uh, eat our... our slowly rotting fish here. Maybe one more, just to top it up. Might be a, might be a waste. What, actually, won't allow us. Okay, that means we're full. Okay, so we're getting cooked fish. We're getting charcoal, which is used later. And I think I better wrap things up here. And we'll continue on next episode. Uh, trying to unlock more, more things, like the... Anvil. Smeltery. Distillery. Uh, the bellows. I think I'm going to make the smeltery. Yeah, the smeltery next. And the bellows. Yeah. But don't forget to save. Actually, I should grab my fish first. Grab that fish. Alright, we're going to have to get some more sticks for that. But we're going to save. And continue on next time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm kind of liking the game. I'm not sure how long it'll go with content-wise. But uh, we'll see. We'll see as far as we can go. Kind of try to unlock everything. Uh, thanks. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.